Hello adventurers! In this video, I'll discuss the best airline credit cards in 2022. With so many alternatives, I looked into the best cards and chose my favorite four. You'll avoid some decision-making paralysis this way. Everyone enjoys traveling, but there are currently too many credit cards available with a variety of perks, making it difficult to decide which is the best option. No longer, I'm here to limit your selection of excellent cards. These cards, which I have investigated, seem to be the ideal fit for you and your requirements. Now let's hear them, shall we? Starting at number 4, we have Delta Sky Miles Gold American Express Card. American Express and Delta Sky Miles together provide a number of credit cards. For those who only seldom fly with Delta, the Delta Sky Miles Gold American Express Card offers beneficial elite-like advantages at a reasonable fee. For occasional flyers hoping to take advantage of this busy summer travel season, these advantages, which include a free first checked bag and priority boarding for you and up to eight travel companions on your ticket when flying Delta can easily justify opening and retaining this card. With rewards rates of two miles for every dollar spent on Delta purchases and one mile for every dollar spent at U.S. supermarkets and restaurants worldwide, including takeout and delivery and other eligible purchases, the Delta Gold Card stands out. In contrast to other mid-tier airline cards, this one makes it possible for even in frequent passengers to accrue miles faster. Now, let me introduce you to the pros and cons. Pros. Uncharged checked bag. Rewards never expire. Early boarding. No foreign transaction fees. Many different airline partners. Reasonable bonus offer. Cons. Has an annual fee. Must have high to exceptional credit. Regular appear is high. Compared to Visa or MasterCard, American Express is less commonly accepted. It's great for people who frequently fly on Delta and its partners partners, people who often travel with checked bags, people who want a travel card with decent earnings on restaurants and supermarket purchases. It's not great for people who want a lot of benefits from their cards. Rewards. Spending accrues miles at the following rates. Two miles for every one dollar spent on Delta purchases. One mile for every one dollar spent at U.S. supermarkets. Two miles for every one dollar spent at restaurants globally, including takeaway and delivery in the U.S. By Visiting Delta.com and logging into your account, you can redeem Sky Miles. During one of the sporadic Sky Miles deals campaigns that Delta organizes, Sky Miles can be redeemed for rewards. Pay with Miles and the membership cost for the Delta Sky Club are two more choices for redemption, although both of these give just one cent per mile in value and are not advised. Welcome Bonus Earn 40,000 bonus miles after you spend $1,000 in purchases on your new card in your first three months. Terms apply. Annual fee. $0 intro for the first year, then $99. Gintro APR. NA. Regular APR. 17.99% to 26.99% variable. Balance transfer fee. NA. Foreign transaction fee. 0%. Credit needed. Excellent or good, which is considered between 670 to 850. Coming at number three, there is the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. When it comes to travel credit cards, the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card is the best option. That's because it might be a good fit for both novices and experts in optimizing rewards when it comes to points and miles. One of the best bonus offers, significant points, and flexible redemption possibilities make the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card one of the best travel cards available. As one of the most well-known travel rewards credit cards, it offers three points per dollar spent on dining, some streaming services, and and online grocery store purchases in addition to five points per dollar spent on travel booked through the Chase Travel Portal, excluding Target, Walmart, and wholesale clubs for the dining and grocery store purchases. Through Chase Ultimate Rewards, these priceless points can be exchanged for travel at a rate of 1.25 cents each or transferred to airline and hotel partners. Now, let me introduce you to the pros and cons. Pros. Bonus for brand new cardholders. Bonus sections. Prime Primary insurance for rental cars, flexible redemption of awards, transfer points at a one-to-one -one ratio to your travel companions, many protections for shopping and vacation, 5x points for booking a flight with Chase, cons, has annual fee, must have high to exceptional credit, difficult rewards, no introductory a pair offer. The only way to get the best travel rewards is through Chase. It's great for people who travel quite a lot, people who hold or want to get more Chase cards that 
earn ultimate rewards points. It's not great for people who don't travel often, people who prefer to have easier rewards. Rewards When booking travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards, the Chase Sapphire Preferred earns 5 points for every dollar spent, 3 points for dining, a few streaming services, and online grocery shopping, and 2 points for all other travel purchases, and 1 point for all other transactions. This card excels in providing a variety of options to redeem points. Using Chase Ultimate Rewards, you may instantly book travel and a variety of other activities using any points you earn. However, points can also be exchanged for gift cards, cashback, Amazon.com purchases, and Apple products. Welcome bonus! After making $4,000 in purchases during the first three months after account opening, earn 60,000 bonus points. When you redeem through Chase Ultimate Rewards, you will receive $750 toward travel. Annual fee, $95. Intro APR, NA. Regular APR, 17.49% to 24.49% variable. Balance transfer fee, either $5 or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. Foreign transaction fee, none. Credit needed. Excellent or good, which is considered between 670 to 850. At number two, we have Chase Sapphire Reserve. The Chase Sapphire Reserve would be on the podium if there were a travel credit card competition at the Olympics. This card offers a staggering array of benefits, including access to airport lounges, a credit toward the application fee for global entry or TSA PreCheck, and more, in addition to earning rewards that are incredibly flexible and having a strong rewards program. It also comes with a $300 travel credit. Although there is a hefty annual charge, individuals who regularly use the card in bonus areas and are able to take advantage of the perks will more than make up for it. Pros High rate of prizes Luxury benefits Premium travel insurance Partners in transfer Primary insurance for rental cars Generous introductory bonus Cons High annual fee You must have an excellent credit score High purchase-related variable APR Only a few high-rewarding categories It's great for People who travel a lot People who like points that are easily redeemed People who don't travel often but want to enjoy luxury benefits when they do People who have or want to get more Chase cards cards that earn ultimate rewards points. It's not great for people who don't have an excellent credit scores, who barely travel, or don't at all. Rewards Earn 10x more points overall with ultimate rewards on purchases made through Chase Dining. Earn points at a rate of 3x for all other forms of travel, and 5x for flights. Earn three times as many points when using qualified takeout, delivery, or other restaurant services. Earn one point for every dollar spent on additional purchases. Purchases. This card excels in providing a variety of options to redeem points. Using the Chase Ultimate Rewards website, you may book travel and a variety of other activities using any points you earn. However, points can also be exchanged for gift cards, cash back, Amazon.com shopping, and Apple purchases. Welcome bonus! After making $4,000 in purchases during the first three months after account opening, earn 60,000 bonus points. Annual fee, $550. Intro APR in slash A. Regular APR 18.49%, 25.49% variable. Balance transfer fee either $5 or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. Foreign transaction fee none. Credit needed. Excellent, which is considered between 800 to 850. And on first place, we have the Platinum Card from American Express. Some premium cards are more premium than others, even among the ranks of such cards. Many of them are primarily there to give common people a small taste of the affluent lifestyle. Some, however, are intended to enhance the high-end lifestyle for those who currently lead it. The Platinum Card from American Express is the only credit card with as many benefits as it can offer. This card merits a spot in your wallet if you travel frequently and want to do so in elegance. It might be difficult to justify the $695 yearly price for someone who does not fit a specified profile, such as an urban fitness enthusiast who wants high rewards on flights and prepaid lodgings. Now, after hearing about the high annual fee, let's learn what pros and cons come with it. Pros High potential for rewards when booking travel with American Express. Multiple credits can assist in defending the cost. Access to every airport lounge. Upon enrolling, receive deluxe travel perks and elite status with Hilton and Marriott. Bonus 
sections, flexibility in payments through pay over time and planet. Cons, very high annual fee. Maximizing the statement credits takes some work and could be unworkable for many. The reward rate outside of travel is subpar for a premium card, requires good or excellent credit. It's great for people who travel frequently, people who can justify the annual fee for the luxury benefits they get. It's not great for people who don't travel often, people who consider the annual fee too high. Rewards Earn up to $500,000 in membership rewards points annually on flights booked directly with airlines or through American Express Travel. Earn 5x membership rewards points when using American Express Travel to book prepaid hotels. Earn one point for every dollar spent on additional purchases. You must be a member of Amex's membership rewards program and charge a qualifying purchase to your American Express Platinum card through the Amex Travel Program in order to redeem and pay with points. Once you make a transaction, the money is charged to your card and the points are deducted from your account. Welcome bonus! After making $6,000 in purchases with the card during your first six months of card membership, earn 100,000 membership rewards points. Annual fee $695. Intro APR NA. Regular APR 18.24% to 25.24% variable. Balance transfer fee, NA. Foreign transaction fee, none. Credit needed, excellent or good, which is considered between 670 to 850. That wraps up what I believe are some of the best airline credit cards in 2022. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Happy travels. I'll see you in the next video.